Hi everyone, hi hi hi, welcome 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 back to another video, I know if it has been a while, oh my god, I'm so sorry. But yeah, we're back with some more videos for you, I know it is exam season, I hope they haven't been very bad so far, I hope they have been good, I hope you guys have been putting in the necessary work, the practice, discipline yourselves, and just make the sacrifices now to reap the results later. So if you if they haven't been so well so far, don't worry. You still have time. You still have you have time to make up for the others, right? Just put in necessary work. You know, drop over by with tutor and check out our videos to see how best they can assist you in your respective subject areas. All right. Without further ado, we'll be jumping right into it today with our sec principles of accounts. Um, January twenty twenty, past paper paper one. So we'll be going through i'm wondering if this video we can go through all but i don't like long videos <laughs> i don't so i may split the video in two and go through the first half in one video then the second half in another video all right of course it is whitney from your it's you 20 my dot i just said that but always you know reach out to us whatsapp instagram Subscribe to our YouTube channel and you may email us at withsutoring at gmail.com. So click that subscribe button, share, 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 like, like, like. All right, let's get on to it. So here's the paper. All right, which of the following is, which of the following financial statements shows the value of a business asset? All right, when we talk about financial statements, we're talking about the trading profit and loss account balance sheet. Those are the two, you know, your love of cash flow will be one a financial statement as well. So those are your love. I'm not gonna go delve into the others. So which one shows the value of a business assets? Once you hear assets, where do you put assets? That is definitely your balance sheet, right? Your assets, liabilities, and capital are shown in your balance sheet. The main internal user of accounting information are the keyword is internal, right? Your competitors are external users. Local communities, that's external. Government agencies, is external. Internal, we're referring to people within the business, right? Like the managers. What are the following features or benefits of using accounting software? So what's the good that comes from using accounting software? Ingrate, integrated analysis of information. Yeah. Almost immediate updating of records. Yeah. Programmable to recognize regular entries. I mean, yeah. So all three. Alrighty, next. What are the following? Oops. Oh no, this tends to happen. What are the following? List of activities shows the correct order of the stages in the accounting cycle before final accounts. So we need to journalize before we can post the ledger, right? And after the ledger entries, we don't draft our trial balance. So it's journalizing, posting to ledger, and then trial balance. You need to know your accounting cycle. This is a common multiple choice question. The following information refers to the assets and liabilities of Mr. Jones. Here we have cash at bank, inventory payables, receivables, bank overdrafts, and cash in hand. So from the information, Mr. Jones's capital amount is how much? What do you know? This is where the accounting equation comes into play. Remember that assets is equal to liabilities plus capital. So that simple accounting equation formula you can transpose to get that capital would be equal to assets minus liabilities. So what you do here for this question, add all your assets. Then you add all your liabilities. Then you subtract your total assets from your total liabilities. So I'm just going to pause for a second here. I'll give you guys a chance to work that out and see what you get. Then I'll come and give you the answer. Alright, so the answer for this one 
would be Z, as in dog. Right? So what are your S? Let's identify them. Let's see how we get the D, of course. Let's identify them. Yeah, what are your assets? Oops, this thing is giving me a highlighting issue. The answer is D, though, guys. Let's identify your assets, right? Your assets are your cash at bank. Plus inventory of 400. Plus cash in hand. Plus your receivables. Those are your assets. You total those. So that would be cash at bank, 800. Plus inventory of 400. Plus cash in hand of 500. Plus receivables of 125, that's 1825. Then you're going to add your liabilities, which would be payables of 600, plus bank overdraft of 250. You subtract the 850 from your 1825, and you should get 975. All right. Partnerships are formed for the purpose of combining capital from different persons. Mm -hmm. Yep. Benefiting from different skills and specializations. Yep. Sharing ideas, experience, and responsibilities. Definitely. So that would be all three. All three are reasons why partnerships are formed. These are some theory, guys. You realize the multiple choice will have a mix. Or even the paper two nowadays, having a lot of theory. You have to know your accounts theory, not just your numbers and your calculations and how to prepare your statements. Which of the following? is usually used to complete a general journal entry narration description of assets description of liabilities name of book to which the entry must be posted all right is usually used to complete it so narrations are not always required so many times you'll get the question and they'll say two narrations are not required narrations is not a must it's not used to complete it really as B and C out of the question. It will be between A and D. But why are we going with D? We're going with D because the folio is more, you know, usually used than the narration in the sense that narrations are not necessarily required. Folios are not always required either, to be honest. I don't even use folios most of the time. But the name of the book to which entry must be posted is called a folio. That's your folio column. The narration is Oftentimes, you'll see narration not required. So, yeah. Item A refers to the following balances at the end of the financial period. What is the total amount for assets? All right. Find your assets. Motor vehicle, that's an asset. Right? Tables is a liability, guys. So you wouldn't add that. Receivables is also an asset, so you add that. And building is also an asset. So you add that capital is not an asset. Capital are capital, right? So your answer would be fourteen thousand dollars. I hope you're working them along and are just watching the videos and just listen to me work it, work it for yourself so you can see it come to life. Right? Next question. Ram Singh purchased goods valued at five hundred dollars on credit. He paid off his bill within the grace period and so received a 10% cash discount. How much did he pay for the goods? So here, what Ram Singh, the good total cost come to $500. But we gave him a cash discount, which is a discount that is used to prompt early payment. Let's say if I pay within a certain amount of days, you'll get a discount. So that discount was 10%. So Ram Singh did pay between um, the required number of days. So he received... The discount of 10%. So, how much he actually paid? He would pay 10% less of 500. 10% of 500 would be $50. So, because it's a discount, you take out the $50 from the 500. That would be 450. So, you're paying 10% less of 500. So, it would be 10% of 500 would be 50. And you subtract the 50 from the 500 to get 450. What are the following items are examples of current liabilities? Come guys, what are current liabilities? These are easy ones too. We're supposed to know these by now. So your current liabilities, those are the obligations or the debts that you need to fulfill within a year's time, within 12 months period, right? Mortgages are usually one long-term something. Accounts payable and accrued wages, those are current liabilities. So you have two and three only. So the answer would be C. Which of the following entries in a three-column cash book are contra-entries? 
first of all, what is a contra entry? A contra entry is an entry in the where the double entry basically takes place in the cash book, where you would have a debit and a credit in the cash book that goes towards your bank and cash account, where both bank and cash columns are affected in your cash book. So we say that the double entry takes place in your cash book. Either bank or cash is credited, either bank or cash is debited simultaneously from the same transaction. That is what a contra entry is. So if you debit cash and you credit a bank, would that be a contra entry? Mm -hmm. You debit one and you credit the other. If you debit cash and credit cash, no. If you credit cash and you credit bank, no. That's who credit. If you debit bank and you debit credit bank, no, sir. The same account. So here, you debit cash and you credit bank. So you debit one and you credit the other. That is where you will see your contract entry come into life. Item 12 refers to the following balances taken from the books of Sharidas Limited on the 30th of April 2019. Have rent owing, cash payables, prepaid insurance, bank overdraft. What is the current ratio of Sharidas Limited? First of all, ask yourself what is current ratio? What is the formula for current ratio? It is your current assets divided by your current liabilities. So in realizing of and for identify your assets, your current assets, your current liabilities, those things are important. So current assets is, let's see, we have cash, which is 3500 We also have prepaid insurance of 300 Um, That's it. Yeah, that's it. Divided by your current liabilities, so that would be $3,800 as your total current assets. Divided by current liabilities, which is your total current liabilities, that is, so it will be 200 which is rent or win, plus 1200 for payables, plus 400 for your overdraft, which will give you 1800 So when you divide, you should get C, which is going to be 2.1 to 1. That's the current ratio here. What of the following entries should be used to post? Sales returns. What do you post sales returns, guys? You need to know your journal entries. You debit the sales returns account and you credit the receivable account. Do you debit sales returns account and you credit sales account? First of all, let me tell you this right now. Is the sales return not enough to do with the sales account? Is it B and C out of it? Because they have something to do with the sales account. I don't know if to do with it. When a return is made, it doesn't affect the sale. The sale already make. The sale already took place. That's why you create a sales return account to record those returns. So B and C out of it, right? That's why you do your elimination, guys. So do you debit sales returns and credit the receivable? Or do you debit the receivable and credit sales? Now think about it. The receivable, if somebody is returning goods to you, that account is receivable who is an asset to us, right? If they're returning goods to us, they'll owe us less, right? So what would you need to do? You do your debit um account receivable to in um debit to decrease account receivable or do you credit to re reduce it? You're gonna do a credit entry because account receivable is an asset account. And you have to credit your asset account to reduce them. That would simply mean that the person who owed you the receivable owe you less now because they're returning some money to you. So you do a credit entry to your receivable account and then the respective debit entry would be your sales returns account. Not the following persons monitor a company's financial statements to discover a desirable rate of return on capital. Ah, <laughs> that's your investors, my darlings. So as an investor, you are going to always look for the company financial statements, right? Because you want a desirable rate of return on your investments. Number 15, item 15 refers to the following information from the books of a company. From the information above, what is the correct closing total for the sales account? So guys, please note that their total sales would include both your cash and credit sales. You get me? Yeah. So cash and credit sales make up your total sales. So... Total sales um, amount in your sales account would be your cash sales of 10,000 plus your credit sales of 45,000. 
and that's going to give you $55,000. It wasn't a trick question. Why did it look so simple? Yeah, that's just it. That's it. So you see the inventory and the drawings and purchases and I have nothing to do with it. Right? All right. So I decided I'm going to pause here. Um, and this will be part one. So I'm going to try to do it in a four part video. I think I haven't completed the 2716 part four. I don't think I did that. I think I started to do it and then something came up. I'm not sure. But if I realize I really didn't, I would try my best to. But I'm going to try to finish this paper first, hopefully. So I'm not going to go to 30 now on this video. I don't like videos that are too long. As I said, it's very stirring <laughs> to watch. So I'll leave you guys here at 15 and then I'll come back with part two soon. So you guys can get third of it. Part two, three, and hopefully four. <laughs> Alright guys, of course, leave your comments below. If you don't understand something, you can just drop it in the comments below. And uh, of course, always reach out to us here at with Switzerland for further assistance to assist you along your academic journey. We know it's not easy sometimes, but with with, with Switzerland, it will be possible. You will get the guide that you need and you will feel less hopeless, right? So don't forget to always reach out to us. Contact us via WhatsApp. Follow us on Instagram at Switzerland. Subscribe to our channel. You may email us. And of course, like, 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 share, share, share. And yep, that would be it from me for now. Until next time, guys. Bye. All the best on your exams. Keep putting in the work. And yeah, I know you want to give up sometime, but just keep pushing. You're not going to last forever. It's reach the end of the road, all right? All the best. Bye.